What's going on everybody? I am back with another video and in today's video I have I have another recent eBay pickups video. Uh, just three cards but um, one really cool card that I picked up recently that I want to show. Got it for what I thought was a pretty good price and then a couple other cards too that I want to show. Um, I haven't been doing many recent um, eBay pickups videos recently mainly because I'm trying to save up a lot of my money um, for a card show that I've been, um, planning on going to for a while, that is later this month in August, um, not sure when this will come out, but, uh, the card show is, I think, August 20th or August 21st, um, it's called the East Coast National Show at Hofstra University, um, not too far from my house and where I live, so, um, I'm pretty sure it's one of the biggest card shows for the Northeast, um, so definitely excited for that. I think there's supposed to be over 400 tables. I know I might have uh, talked about this before. I'm not sure if I said uh, all the details on it, but yeah, so 400 plus tables, that's by far the most amount of tables um, there has been at a card show that I've been to. So really wanna try and save up my money because there'll be a pretty wide selection of cards there um, compared to the shows that I've been going to recently that have only been um, like 25 to 40 tables. So definitely excited for that, but we'll get into today's video. Like I said, just three cards, so going to be pretty short. First one from a recent product that came out a few weeks ago, Aaron Neesmith, Clearly Donruss, um, Rated Rookie. That's the silver foil, meaning that it's just the base. There's a couple parallels that are not numbered, but are a little more uncommon than uh, the base, like the gold foil, not out of 10 or not numbered at all, but it's they're a little harder to pull than the base, but this is just the base. So I, I, I do like the acetate cards. That's why I was a fan of Clearly Donruss. Clearly, Donruss boxes have been going for pretty cheap um, compared to many other boxes. Don't come with a lot of cards, but I think it's one of the best prices for a box out there right now. Um, obviously, still, I think it's like between maybe like 125 to 175 I'm not sure um, if the prices have changed since last time I checked, but that's like the around what I saw for the lowest on eBay. Um... So I think it's just a really good price for a hobby box. Can't really get a price like that, like I said, on hobby boxes, except on maybe retail or um, like collegiate products. But um, excluding collegiate, again, this is probably like the best product um, that's the most affordable to buy a hobby box of. So I um, really like the acetate cards and... I, there's a lot of cool parallels in that product too that you can pull. I've seen a, a lot of the short print cards are not too uncommon. Like I've seen in cases there's been a ton of super short print cards pulled so they're not too difficult to pull. So no, I talked a little too much there, but um, I just wanted to get that out there on my opinion on <laughs> Clearly Donner's. Next is, if you could see, Red Parallel Prism. Robert Williams, so this is numbered, I think it says 105 out of 299. Um, added, adding this to my Prism 2021 Robert Williams Rainbow. Don't have a ton of his stuff yet. I think I have maybe six parallels. Um, I tried doing as much as I could of his rookie Prism Rainbow, but... Um, I really only got all the unnumbered, and that was before he started to play um, a decent amount of minutes. So I got that like before the season even started, um, about maybe this time last year, um, up until December. But um, yeah, I really was happy to see that he was in the base set for Prism this year, so I figured his stuff would be cheaper. I can maybe put together as much of the rainbow as I could. Have a lot. I I think that's like maybe my third or fourth numbered parallel from um the rainbow that I have so far. So 
definitely want to try and add more um, cards to that rainbow set. Um, since I'm, I just really like watching him play. I hope the Celtics extend him um, in the next, I, I don't know. I think he's eligible this year, but I think he's a free agent next year if they don't. But um, next card is another Celtics card. It's actually an RPA or Relic um, Auto. I think, oh wait, yeah, it's horizontal. Romeo Langford certified uh, sticker auto, or I mean, sticker auto, but it's uh, not really an RPA relic auto. Um, I don't think it's numbered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not numbered, unless I missed um, it saying that. But I think I got this for under 10 bucks, maybe $9, I don't know. But I thought it was a fair price. It was the lowest I could find a Romeo Langford auto for. I've been trying to get a Langford auto for a few months. Um, wasn't really rushing to get any, and this was just a card that I liked. And again, the price was um, pretty good in my opinion. So these are the three pickups I got. Again, just a short mail day. Um, I, I think the first card that I got out of the three was this Robert Williams, and it was probably close to a month ago. So that just kind of shows that I haven't really been picking up much. But again, definitely excited for that uh, card show that I'm going to later this month. So be on the lookout. Probably going to have a vlog for that. Um, going to try and get a ton of pickups there. Um, going to do a lot of looking through $1 boxes. There wasn't, there hasn't been a ton of $1 boxes where at the shows I've been going to, but I'm sure there will be a ton here. So definitely excited for that. And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below, um, comment and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Um, been trying to put out at least a video or two a week. Um, in the next couple weeks, uh, it's probably going to slow down again because I, I haven't been picking up much and that's usually a lot of my content is mail days, but um, I, I really think that the vlog that I'll make at this card show will be probably one of my best videos so far on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.